Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to automate personalization with Marketing Cloud Account Engagement, formerly known as Pardot. Personalization is a critical aspect of modern marketing, and we'll show you how to leverage the power of account engagement to make your marketing efforts more effective. But before we dive in, let's understand why personalization matters in marketing. Personalization matters in marketing because it allows you to connect with your audience on a deeper, more meaningful level. When you treat your prospects and customers as individuals with unique needs and preferences, you increase engagement and build stronger relationships. This, in turn, leads to higher conversion rates and ROI. Take a look at this generic marketing email. It doesn't speak to any specific pain points or interests. Now imagine receiving a personalized email that addresses your specific needs as they occur. Which one are you more likely to engage with? That's the power of personalization. Personalization relies heavily on data, and the quality and freshness of that data are crucial. In your account engagement account, having accurate and up-to-date information about your prospects is essential for effective personalization. Outdated, inaccurate, or wrongly formatted data can lead to embarrassing and potentially damaging mistakes in your marketing campaigns. For example, if you're including a personalized first name in an email, the last thing you want your prospects to see is high unknown or see their name in all caps. At that point, you're better off not using personalization at all. It's not just about knowing your customers, it's about knowing them correctly. Consider also how your data is being collected and used. It is vital to use data responsibly and ethically. Always obtain consent for data collection and use, respect privacy regulations, follow account engagement's permission-based marketing policy, and be transparent with your audience about how their data will be used. This builds trust with your prospects and ensures your personalization efforts are well received. Before you start personalizing, make sure you have a solid foundation. Clean and organize your data in account engagement, define your target audience, and set clear goals for your personalization efforts develop a personalization strategy too. Understand the prospect's journey and identify the interconnected touch points where personalization can make the most impact. The most successful personalization strategies consider the full experience, not just one-off pieces of content. Account engagement offers several powerful personalization tools and functionality. First up, HML or Handlebar Merge Language. HML lets you dynamically pull information from fields on the prospect, prospect account, or user record, and insert those values into emails, landing pages, or forms. When a prospect interacts with that marketing asset, they will see their personal information, not just generic text. And you can also use conditional statements to display alternative, relevant text if a field is empty. Common ways we see marketers use HML include showing the signature of a prospect's assigned sales rep or showing the prospect's first name in the greeting of an email. Next up, we have dynamic content, which is available with plus or higher editions of account engagement. With dynamic content, you can create blocks of tailored text, images, or links using HTML. These blocks can show up to 25 variations plus an optional default variation based on whether a prospect has a matching value in a set field. Make sure to order your variations by importance. If a prospect can match multiple, they will see the first matched variation only. You can use your dynamic content blocks in emails, forms, landing pages, layout templates, customer-facing list labels, or on your external website. Common ways we see marketers use dynamic content include showing targeted call to actions to different audience segments within the same email or dynamically changing the banner image on a page to include a landmark from the prospect's country. Now let's say you want to reuse the same block of text, a link or image URL across several different marketing assets and don't need variations. Well then snippets would be the tool for you. Once created, that snippet can be added to forms, landing pages, or emails using the merge field picker. And if you update the snippet later on, this change will automatically roll down to every asset that is using that snippet. This is a great tool for marketing activities, like event promotion or recurring webinars, 
where you have multiple assets that all need to display the same messaging and would benefit from a quick way to update them all. Moving on to Engagement Studio and its branching capabilities. With Engagement Studio, you can design responsive journeys that send prospects down different pathways or branches based on criteria that you decide on. This can be everything from field criteria to list membership to how they interact with your content. For example, if you want to send a follow-up email to prospects who opened your initial email but didn't click, you can set up branching logic to automate this process. This feature streamlines your communication and ensures you're responding to prospect behavior effectively. And lastly, list segmentation. With account engagement, you can easily divide your audience into segments based on field criteria, behavior, or related objects using lists for more precise targeting. These lists can be dynamic, where prospects are added or removed automatically based on whether they match the criteria you set. Or they can be static, where you add or remove prospects manually or use automations to control membership. For more advanced segmentation, connect account engagement with Data Cloud to segment prospects based on external system data or Salesforce objects that don't naturally integrate with account engagement as well. With list segmentation, you can ensure your marketing campaigns reach the most relevant audience, improving engagement and conversion rates. Now, let's jump into a demo to see these concepts in action by adding personalization to a generic email. First, we'll start by pulling up our basic email template. Log in to your account engagement account, navigate to the account engagement email tab, and then select our email draft. To add a sender signature, we'll use HTML. Click on the content editor sidebar, and then merge fields, then sender, and add in signature. This will automatically update the signature that appears based on the sender. Very handy if we're using the dynamic sender options, like send from assigned user or send from account owner. Now, let's add a conditional statement using HML. Let's say we have a custom nickname field as well as the default first name field on the prospect object. We can use a conditional statement to show high nickname or high first name, depending on the data available. Let's add in the HML syntax. This logic checks if the prospect has a nickname. If they do, it will display the nickname. Otherwise, it will show their first name. Next, let's navigate to the content, then dynamic content, and then select our dynamic content piece. This piece shows a different paragraph of text and a CTA button based on the value in a product interest field. Let's add one more variation for compliance and write out the text that we want to appear when someone receives this variation. Once we've done that, we can press Save. Now, back to our email template and click Edit Email Template. We'll navigate back to the Content Editor, find where we want our dynamic content to appear, and click on the lightning bolt icon. Finally, we'll locate our dynamic content piece and click OK. Great, we've personalized our email with dynamic content and HML. Before we send it out, let's preview the email to make sure everything looks good. Click Preview, then Preview as Prospect, and then select a prospect or two from the dropdown. Once we're satisfied, we click Save Draft. And as this is an email template, not a list email, we also click on Publish to Template. We can now use this personalized email in list emails, engagement studio emails, or automated emails to engage with our prospects more effectively. You should now have a solid understanding of why personalization matters, the importance of data quality and the ethical use of data, and the practical steps to implement personalization in account engagement. With these personalization features and tactics in mind, you will be able to make your marketing more effective and engaging for your diverse prospect base. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.